Good freaking morning to everybody. It is your girl Chloe Yasmin back in the cut with another video. And in today's video, your girl, honestly, to be honest with you, I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know. I got my hair clipped up in a little clip. It looks crazy. It's time to go ahead and wash it. It was super matted up and tangled. It was terrible. I had to go ahead and section it off yesterday and detangle every single section. So that is pinned up right now. And then I look crazy. I honestly had like this big white t-shirt on and some dang pajama pants. I've been working on like straightening up my room. It's just a lot to get done in this dang room. Popped off my nails last night didn't really like that set that i had so i'm gonna go ahead and put on a new set today but basically i'm gonna show the a little who whoa you know i've been eating my little caffeine or whatever so basically yes i'm gonna try to make this like a vlog or whatever but i will be taking you guys along with me throughout my little day or whatever whatever i'm gonna be doing i don't really know i look crazy but we gotta get ready so basically the plan right now is to get my energy drink done i basically not done but i basically have like a starbucks cup i fill it up with ice put my energy drink in there to give me some energy i'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning my bathroom and then i gotta start getting ready for my day so you guys are gonna like basically follow me around i'm not trying to ramble no longer though girl we ain't trying to do all that so let's just hop right into what i'm about to get done what i'm about to do okay so now your girl's in the kitchen and i just got done filling up sorry if like there's fingerprints on my microwave it's honestly one of my pet peeves but it happens every single day anyway basically just got done filling up my cup with ice i love the rain energy drinks energy drink it's a tongue twister energy drinks because i'm gonna tell you why girl they got 300 milligrams of caffeine i remember when i first drank one of these i remember being on 10 and being like so hype and like working and working and working but i remember being like i'm not gonna be drinking these all the time like i remember being like it's like a once in a while type thing because i want to keep like my um caffeine intake at a minimal i guess but that didn't end up happening i end up like going through this phase where like sleeping wasn't a thing and i was just always on the go and the days that i was supposed to be relaxing people would hit me up and be like hey like got some plans for you type junk and so girl all oh, these be coming in handy Red Bulls ain't got nothing on them. Monsters ain't got nothing on them. Bangs ain't got nothing on them. Ain't nothing got nothing on my rings. And I know that energy drinks are not like the best for you, but they really do help me in my everyday life because you girl would need some caffeine to get to get to that one, especially on a day like this where I am super like mellow yeah i'm about to go ahead and um clean this bathroom have you ever been like yeah i'm about to go do this like yeah, i'm about to go do this yeah i'm about to hop in the shower and just sit there for like 30 minutes to an hour and be like yeah i'm about to go get that done yeah just trying to help you hype yourself up like girl i don't feel like doing none of this junk but i'm, I'm gonna do it because um it needs to get done it needs to get done good news your girl did just recently turn 18 on may 12th so i just want to go ahead and say thank you to every single person that remembered that it was my birthday on may 12th and emailed me or texted me it was super sweet it was super cute but girl let me stop rambling and looking crazy we over here looking dusty and crusty and i'm still rambling no we gotta hurry up and get this bathroom clean so i can start getting ready and getting cute because i got an outfit that goes brazy goes brazy <laughs> i ain't heard that word since eighth grade brazy that's crazy let's go clean this thing bathroom let me show y'all what we working with for this scene we need some scary type dungeon music because look at my bathroom look at my bathroom are we joking like this ain't even me like i don't even like dirty bathrooms and so my bathroom was looking like for real your area is definitely a reflection of what you may be facing on the inside and i definitely feel like my room and my bathroom has been a result of what i've been going through lately so with that being said hey we're gonna clean it up and make ourselves feel better okay we're gonna we're gonna yeah <coughs> I'm so sorry about that. That's so bad. Let's stop rambling and let's get into cleaning this disgusting bathroom and hopefully it can motivate you to clean maybe your living area because your girl's over here struggling too.
Okay, sis, so I just got back from the tennis salon. I am looking like a little bit darker, but I'm about to go ahead and hop in the shower. You know, my bathroom is clean. I'm feeling real good. It honestly feels amazing because, like, I honestly am not open about my feelings at all. I'm not a very open person about anything. I will not tell nobody my business. I won't even tell my closest family my business. Like, I don't talk to nobody about anything because I feel like once you tell them something, that got something on you. So, with that being said, I don't really tell people about anything. So, I did recently open up in my recent video about, like, basically, I've been dealing with a lot of different stuff, trying to fight to stay positive. I've been really depressed. I wake up every single morning, don't want to clean my space. And so, this morning, I'm just like, hearing the Lord, like, you got to get this junk done you're either going to keep backtracking not backtracking in a way that I'm going back to what I used to do but backtracking in a way that slacking on my daily routine you're only going to get more and more depressed and more and more upset so it's kind of up to us to make the decision whether or not we're going to stay in this this bubble of depression and sadness and hurt and pain or we're going to try to slowly work our way out of it and I'm going to try to slowly work my way out of it I'm like trying to force myself and push myself out of it because what's not the move is sitting up and like being so oh like I feel so bad for myself like all oh, this is happening like I just wanted to end like blah, blah 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 like girl um get it together there's so much life to live and it's time to go ahead and start living it so with that being said let me stop rambling I'm about to go ahead and wash my hair I haven't even figured out like what shampoo I want to use I'm not gonna hold you guys this is honestly like one of my favorite shampoo and conditioner sets it is the Hask Biotin Boost Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner smells super good grows your hair make your makes your hair thicker and y'all know I'm like really big on scent and it smells so good. So I'm about to go ahead and wash my hair, clean up my body, get myself together, and we're gonna go on with the rest of our day. Let's get into it. Alright, so now I'm out of the shower, I'm all fresh and clean, I'm about to go ahead and start my face mask, get my moisturizer on, get my outfit on. Basically, the face mask that I have been loving, 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 loving is by Polish Choice Clear type of like acne line. This is the purifying clay mask. I literally am obsessed. You can get this on Amazon. I will actually go ahead and link it down in the description. Um, This is obviously not sponsored, but hey, it works good, so I'm trying to put y'all on. I basically just put some on my hand, I get a good amount, and then I just go ahead and start getting it all over my face, smoothing it all over my face, you know you know i let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes it says 5 to 10 but for me i want some good results so i'll go ahead and leave it on a little bit longer now my face did recently start to break out from this because it is a purifying clay mask so hey just prepare for like a little bit of breakout but in the end it's gonna be totally worth it it's a super easy mask to like wash off too you know how like a, some masks are like super hard to get off because they harden this stays like super soft and like creamy so it's really easy to get off so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off in about 10 to 15 minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and proceed to get ready because your girl has an appointment coming up it is 309 so 310 and i have an appointment at five but i still have to get ready and everything and i honestly think i need to run to target because i'm almost out of my favorite dove soap that 
I use today with my African Net Sponge. I love those. You can get them on Amazon. They're just really good for body acne and exfoliation. I honestly rarely use body scrubs anymore because of that yellow African Net washcloth. And you basically just have to wash it and reuse it. So if you are dealing with super rough, dry skin or dull skin, strawberry legs, anything of the sort, I really suggest using a African Net washcloth. Yo, look how much laundry I have to do. Like, it's really bad right now. Like, all this is actually disgusting and very embarrassing. I didn't really have enough space for my perfume over here. I need to get rid of these cereal, bo cereal boxes. Honestly, let me get rid of these right now. This is like embarrassing as crap. Like, these have to go in the trash. All of this is honestly embarrassing for me, but hey, I'm gonna show it because I'm about to start being real, real, real raw and real. Okay, on this dang channel. All right. Got a bunch of perfumes over here. The hardest part of my day, I'm not, <laughs> that's not true. That's super stupid to say. The hardest part of my day is, I mean, wait, what? That's super stupid to say. It's just really hard to like pick out my perfume of the day. I don't really know what I want to wear today, like what kind of scent I'm going for. So it's a little bit hard, but you know, we're going to work through it. I think, honestly, I love my Gucci Bamboo, but I have a new perfume I just bought. I'm, I'm not really sure where it is, but I just bought a new Marc Jacobs perfume yesterday. I'm not a very big Marc Jacobs fan. I got a sample in the mail of this perfume and it smells so good. So I bought it yesterday and it does not smell the same as what I was smelling on the sample. So I'm, I am a little bit upset about it, but hey, we're going to work with it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I guess wear this today. And then if I figure out what other perfumes I want to wear, I'll go ahead and let you guys know because your girl be mixing perfumes because I'm really good at mixing scents. And then I'll just go ahead and moisturize my body with the Jergens original scent. It's the cherry almond one. One. this smells so good you guys I will literally smell my skin like later on hours after I got in applying it my skin will literally smell like cherry almond super moisturizing I love it it just smells super good so I guess I'll be doing like my little you know perfect Marc Jacobs smelling good smelling good you already know and I have a super cute outfit that I want to wear today it's gonna be a little bit hot for it but I'm still gonna rock it because you know your girl's a little bit crazy I be stepping okay I'm gonna step I'm just playing <laughs> I do have like a white tank top I put in here somewhere to go with the outfit I just have oh that's an anklet what the junk look at my Mentos underwear I got from H&M they're super cute okay here's a tank top that's supposed to go underneath that outfit I gotta figure out what shoes I actually am about to go ahead and get my pedicure because I ended up getting like acrylic over my big toes and my acrylic popped off yesterday and like there's a certain lady that does my acrylic a certain like a certain type of way she was like do not let anybody else touch your acrylic like let me just do it and only get fills by me type junk so I gotta go into her today and get my acrylic put back on my toe and then I got church tonight at 7 o'clock. I need to put my jewelry back on, keep this bathroom clean, because, girl, it's already looking a mess. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start spraying my little perfume. I love when I get a good perfume bottle. Like, this does smell actually very, very, very good. I feel like it doesn't have, like, too much of a floral scent, more of, like, a sweet sea breeze kind of smell to it, which I actually like. It just doesn't smell like the sample that I got. But anyway, yes, love that. I love when I get a good perfume bottle that has a beautiful mist because it's all about the mist, man. It's all about if it can evenly distribute all over your body. And you already know we're about to go in with our Jergens. This smells so good, you guys. I'm literally obsessed with it. It's super moisturizing. I love regular lotions. Like, I'll pick a regular lotion over a Bath & Body Works lotion any day, especially since I have um, body acne. Stuff like this is way better for your skin than, like, Bath & Body Works and stuff. So so I rarely use Bath & Body Works products. You know, I do spray perfume, like real perfume on my skin or whatever. But I rarely use their body washes and their body lotions and stuff like that. Because you know what? I'm not really trying to risk my body breaking out super bad just to smell like a Bath & Body Works product when I can still smell good and not be using all those chemicals. But even though I know this stuff still has chemicals in it, y'all know Bath & Body Works is just built different. Y'all already know. Y'all already know how it goes. All right, you guys. So I have you guys up on a tripod. I know it's super weird, but I, I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys my outfit. It's like a super like cute neon green outfit with like little pink accents it says fly on the back it says fly girls only but I also want to say this if you're looking to figure out like how to keep your underarms under control during the summertime girl that's what you got to do you have to exfoliate 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 scrub the heck out of your underarms not with a washcloth I'm talking like exfoliating gloves or one of them African net washcloth or an exfoliating washcloth like exfoliate then you got to apply a crazy amount of deodorant like I'm talking like a crazy amount I put so much dang deodorant on it really don't make sense like it's honestly crazy because I've, I've honestly always done that whether I was using regular deodorant or not but I use a lot because it's like that odor can't come through you feel what I'm saying so I go ahead and do that I spray I mean I apply a lot of deodorant like it takes me a while to put on all my deodorant I remember staying the night at one of my friends house and they were like girl like you apply a crazy amount of deodorant I'm like yeah that's why I'm never messy you feel me you feel what I'm saying so you always want to be swiper swiped up with the deodorant and you always want to be perfumed up you always want to smell correct okay I mean you got to come correct anytime don't matter where you at where you going I don't care if you went to the, the trash dump sometimes my hair looks better down the middle sometimes it looks better down the side so i don't really know what i want to do today oh this side part is kind of cute i think i might go for the side part today so my hair is drying up because i have been out of the shower for like a little while now and my hair if it has no product in it it will dry fast now if it has product in it girl it'll take like hours
for so I'm gonna go ahead and get all this started I'm just gonna go ahead and finger detangle it really quickly so I have no tangles when I go to put in the curl cream I'm gonna go ahead and spray some of this Carol's Daughter black vanilla leave-in conditioner smells super good it's really moisturizing and it's just gonna add like a little bit of more like um, wetness to my hair because um, when I put product in when my hair is dry the results are never really good if you hear any like guitar or like bass in the background my brothers are doing that but I also use this for the scent makes my hair smell super good so I just basically like spray it all over my scalp I like to have like a clean fresh scalp or whatever but my favorite curl cream you guys already know is the Mayo Avocado Hair Milk this is like my ride or die hair cream I love it so much like I just I can't go without it like no product gives me the results that these give me but sometimes if I, I don't really know how much I'm supposed to put in all the time so I just put like a random amount in so sometimes my hair comes out too flat sometimes my hair comes out too puffy and frizzy but I did want to go ahead and touch on the subject really quickly because I feel like a lot of us may be struggling with it because I feel like you know these demons want to make us think that we're the only one dealing with certain thoughts or we're the only ones dealing with a bad life or we're the only ones dealing with this and dealing with that and it's not even true and so he tries to silence us because if he silences us then we're all gonna think that we're all crazy but we gotta start opening up about things and I'm gonna take the first step to go ahead and do it because I'm actually scared to um and I never have spoken about it but obviously I've dealt with it and basically the topic is suicide it's a very sensitive um topic and basically I just wanted to go ahead and speak on it really quickly because I feel like we all deal with the thoughts um do not claim those thoughts as your own these demons love to put thoughts in our mind and then we go ahead and think that they're our thoughts and then we get to play on them and then that's how we end up acting on it and I just want to say this with suicide it's just like you think that you're putting what he wants to tell you is oh my gosh like your life is never going to get better like how your life is right now is how it's always going to be it's never going to get better so what's the point of even living like your life is not going to be like theirs your life is not going to be like theirs you're not going to be successful you're not going to be anything in life you have nothing to live for like you know those kind of thoughts whatever he can put into your mind to take you out he's going to do because you just feel like you just want to end that pain but you're not really ending that pain you're just passing it on to other people you're just passing it on to somebody else because those people are going to grieve and these demons will make you think nobody cares about you nobody's gonna care if you die like nobody is gonna care so like why not just go ahead and end it nobody cares anyway nobody cares in the first place and that is so not true and it's really like a in the moment kind of thing you really got to be careful because the heart can be deceiving you can't act on your emotions and so I really was dealing with those heavy thoughts and those heavy feelings after my dad passed away I remember thinking like even though we were beefing a lot we had finally started to get along and I just felt like our family's gonna move on and then he died and I was just like honestly like I have no motivation for school we're living in a hood we're broke I feel like I'm ugly like I have nothing and so there's nothing's gonna come out of this so I'm just gonna go ahead and end it and so if I would have done that and if that would have succeeded I wouldn't be here today helping people and talking people through certain things I get a lot of emails and everything about girls like saying like you really helped me like you really helped me come out of my depression or you really helped me with my anxiety or you really helped me give my life to Christ it makes me so happy to hear that and I just if I would have ended it right there, I wouldn't be here today. I guess I'm a living testimony of things do get better, but I still deal with those thoughts. It doesn't matter how much of success you reach, what is success to you? And I feel like we can all get our brains so twisted up because we think that this worldly success, having cars, money, clothes, jewelry, being iced out, we think of that as success. But you don't really feel on top of the world when you have all those things. You feel on top of the world when you are right with the Lord Jesus Christ. You are living for the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the most success I've ever felt. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start working on these edges, but I feel like I might just be, well, I know that I am way too young to feel this tired. I feel like my time is up. I feel like I've done what I was supposed to do and I'm literally 18 years old. That's it, just hit the big one eight and I'm already super tired. I just feel like with all the things that have been said to me, all the work that I've been putting in, everything that I've just been through, I just feel like I'm so tired and I know that I'm not the only one. I don't wanna make like what I do seem like it's like the easiest thing because yes, going to work a nine to five is definitely very hard and physically draining and mentally draining, but it's like I go through stuff as well and it's just like people are so quick to say, girl, you're a YouTuber, like your life is not that hard, but it is because I have people 24 seven saying stuff to me and then you begin to change. Nobody around you in your circle looks at you the same. People from your past, want to lie on you. People period want to lie on you. People period want to put words in your mouth. People period want to slander your name. 
sometimes I think, should I even be trying to put out the word of God? Should I have even started my YouTube channel on that Christian foundation? Because I feel like it's biting me in the butt. And I know that that's these demons lying to me, but it just feels like that sometimes because it's just like people put me up to this the standard that I'm supposed to be perfect and I'm not supposed to talk like this. I'm not supposed to dress like this. I'm not supposed to do this. I'm not supposed to do that. And they want to, or people from my past want to automatically put who I used to be on who I am today or want to just go ahead and lie. If you guys only seen what has happened behind the scenes of me be, being a YouTuber and the people around me changing, you honestly would would be so shocked and how I'm holding up a smile. I don't know how this all came for me talking about suicide but I just wanted to let you guys know that you are not in this alone. We all deal with these thoughts but they are not our thoughts. We cannot play on them. We have people out here that are depending on us. Little did you little do you know there are people out here that seriously love you and are watching you from a distance and little did you know that the reason why these thoughts are coming to your head about ending your life is because you have something coming up that these demons do not want you to reach. Obviously, you're not going to reach or get to it if you're gone. Blessings are about to shower down in your life. Life is not going to be like this forever. Stop comparing your situation to everybody else's situation. And the reason, that's another reason why I'm trying to be super real with you guys. Because stop comparing yourself to me thinking that you want to be me and you want to have my life because my life is so easy. That's not it. We all go through. Stop thinking that you're not going to be successful because somebody else reached success before you. Because you're 25 and she's 25 and she has more money than you. That doesn't mean anything. Your time is coming. Stop thinking that this is it for you because it's not it for you you have so much more coming up everybody's story is different my camera's about to die though let me stop rambling I don't even know why I just went into all this and got super emotional I hate showing my feelings I might even cut it out there's been a lot of times where I cried on camera cut it right out because I just feel like people are gonna have something on me but honestly I'm not really worried about it as long as I'm helping people and helping the Lord Jesus Christ pull in souls for him I'm not really worried about it at this point I have to do my job and here I am all right, you guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and start putting on my press-ons. I already have one on. It's like a super cute, like, tapered square nail. They are literally so super adorable. Like, this is what they look like. They're so cute. I cannot wait. I'm kind of rushing a little bit. But basically what I did is I went ahead and got, like, a little buffing block. I got this little buffing block, buffed all my nails out, then put some isoprol alcohol on them to just go ahead and dehydrate them. And then I just go in with some nail glue. I put a good amount of nail glue on my nail. I just go ahead and paint it on. I use this Nail Bond nail glue from Amazon. I'll go ahead and link it down below. It's honestly like the best nail glue ever. And you want to make sure that you put like a good amount of nail glue. I like to put a lot just so that my nails are not popping off like that. I get all my junk on Etsy. Look up press on nails. Like you can look up whatever shape you like. If you like tapered coffin or tapered uh, square, extra long or oval or almond, whatever you like, ballerina, whatever it is you can go ahead and look that up and they will have it i don't want to sit here and like bore you guys of me putting on the nails so i guess i will go ahead and fast forward the clips and we'll just go ahead and put on all these little nails and i'll be right back and show you guys what my hands is looking like in a minute because girl i am loving this shape all right you guys so these are the finished results they are literally super cute the shape is honestly everything i literally love them if the girl still has these up on her etsy shop i'm gonna go ahead and link it down in the description if it's not down there then that means she took them off but i'm pretty sure she has them still up so just go ahead and look in the uh, description down below and it's the same girl that in my miami nail so she'll have those on there as well and basically she's just like the best nail tech on etsy it's honestly crazy so i have honestly like a few nail techs that i'm literally obsessed with but she's like a new one that i tried out and i've been loving her nails so far so these are my new little nails and they are literally super cute but i'm about to go ahead and head to my pedicure appointment and i will be back i've kind of gotten to the point where like when I come to Target, I always have to grab more tank tops because I always run through these tank tops. I either go through like the strapless like type of shirts or the tank tops because they go so well under all my clothing. So I'm gonna pick up three white ones, three gray ones, and then I guess it wouldn't hurt to pick up like two black ones. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up two black ones and I'm good on tank tops. They're only like three bucks, so it's really not bad and I love these tank tops. I also found these super cute pink pants. They're like straight leg pants. I really love the look of them. So I'm going to go ahead and pick those up as well. Crap. I just really need like some pink pants right now. Because I've been looking for like a good pair of pink pants. I went to Zara and I was like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. I get up to the cash register and my mom was like, those are way too long for you. Like they're like more than half your body type junk. So they would have been really, really loose at the bottom. But I'm going to go ahead and head into the baby section to grab my unscented baby dub. Y'all already know. I'm almost out of that. So yeah, for all the ladies, my favorite. Oh my gosh. Do they even? Oh, yep. I was about to say they don't have my wash. I love this baby dub sensitive skincare it's like fragrance free and it's perfect as a lady wash so you guys already know i gotta go ahead and pick that up love that i've been trying to like stop buying snacks so i haven't really been going to the store that much but i've been trying to stop bu buying snacks because at nighttime like i'll be blowing through snacks but you know what i'm gonna go ahead and grab some of these i've actually been really like craving this muddy buddy stuff or whatever really good i forgot what we used to call it when we were younger um 
I forgot, but it was, we definitely did not call it no dang muddy buddy. I mean, muddy buddies. We didn't do that, y'all. A lot of people are gonna think I'm crazy for this, but instead of licorice, I will choose red vines any day. I love red vines. I'll blow right through them. Like, they're honestly really good. Especially if you're looking for like a studying snack, girl, them red vines go crazy. I know people do not like them. I actually did not used to like them. I don't know where I just started craving them, and then I just started to eat them, and I was just like, they're like my favorite. So I gotta go ahead and grab those because I buy all my snacks off of GoPuff. And GoPuff is like totally out. Wait, I don't think it's down here. I think it's down here. GoPuff is like totally out of my little red vines or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and find them here, which I try to usually find them here anyway, but just haven't really been coming out. They are right here. Yes, ma'am. Love my red vines. These are like the jumbo ones though. Y'all are probably like, you are cringe for that. <laughs> hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I love having like cold fruit at, at nighttime and it's like so much easier when you don't have to dice it up. So this has mandarin oranges, diced pears, and diced peaches. I go through uh, flushable wipes very, very, very fast. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one of these four packs of flushable wipes. Y'all already know, gotta have these. I usually grab the unscented ones out of the baby section, but I pass baby section without even thinking about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these really quickly. I do not have too much more to grab. I'm just gonna go to the hygiene section really quickly, grab what I gotta get and get the heck out. Cause I have service and I honestly should be headed there right now. But I gotta drop my mom back off at home, then head out that way. So let's keep it pushing. Okay, so I got the baby dove, I got the flushable wipes. All I need is dove body wash and like a new toothbrush. Now, my toothbrush works just fine, but just for sanitary reasons, you gotta have a new toothbrush. So, okay, down here would be where the dove body washes would be. I be going through dove body wash so fast, it's not even a joke. Like, I just love dove body wash. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one cucumber body wash and then one of these two packs of the pampering shea butter and warm vanilla because I love the warm vanilla yes ma'am the shea butter and warm vanilla smells super good but I love oral b toothbrushes so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the medium one because I, I think my my brushes are actually pretty hard but not hard hard I think they're just medium I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one of these oral b toothbrushes I love oral b toothbrushes they keep my teeth super right keep my brush super fresh love them I'm honestly obsessed so that is everything that I needed from Target so now I'm gonna go ahead and head out of Target and I will talk to you guys when I can the next time that I can talk to you guys but I'm gonna be out for the rest of the night so I most likely won't be doing much talking maybe tomorrow but hey I'm gonna see you in the wind okay girl so it's a few days later and it's because I did not record yesterday I end up not really doing anything that night just going to church and then coming home and the next day I just kind of like chill with my, with my nieces we had the girls yesterday yeah and then today I'm out and about just like quickly I had to go get my lashes and as you guys can see my lashes are full because I was looking like a plug chicken by the eyelashes um anyway so I'm basically looking at some perfume and y'all know I have, I have like a little bit of like a perfume addiction y'all already know I love to smell good I just smell very strong I love getting compliments that I smell good so you guys already know the first place that I came because I'm in Marshalls right now. I came to the perfume section. So the first thing that I'm seeing, this is honestly a really good deal. I don't know what it smells like though. In Full Bloom by Kate Spade. It's like a full 3.4 ounce. It's a Oud Parfum and it's only 30 bucks. So I'm like, uh, girl, yes. And then I seen this. So if you guys keep up with my videos, I recently bought like a Escada like summer edition perfume and it smells so like pretty and like, I don't know, it's just super fresh and nice. And they have one here for $36.99. It's like a full bottle of Escada. So, so far I like the Escada line or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up one of those perfumes as well. I'm not really seeing like a crazy amount because y'all know I always go for full bottles because I spray it like body spray. My sister was like, I'll be trying to tell people, my sister sprays it like body spray. What is this? Escada Mag Magnetism. Hmm, Escada Magnetism. This is a very big bottle. Okay, my mom disagrees, but me and my sister are obsessed with this perfume. It is called Burberry Body. Me and my sister love it. My mom hates it. So I'm not going to get it, but it's definitely one of my favorites. Burberry Body. My sister loves it. I love it. Burberry Touch is also a very nice perfume. Burberry Touch, very strong, very beautiful. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. So that's also a very nice perfume. So I've made it to the candles and I just smelled this Shea Butter Coconut one and it's only $12.99. It smells super strong and it smells absolutely amazing. So I need to get like big, big candles because these will last way longer and they'll like burn for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that one. I already grabbed one. It's already in my in my cart but they have this vetiver vanilla hmm i love vanilla no that smells like play-doh oh sea salt and vanilla that sounds very fresh and like vanilla like oh no scent no scent at all look how cute this cap is asmr okay coastal woods let me see that's really pretty that's really pretty i like that i'm probably gonna have like one more and then i need to grab some for the house because obviously i like my room to smell good and then my crib to smell good dune grass they just have like super good deals with like super cute candles and like huge candles really nice Ooh, this would smell really good for the house i'm gonna go ahead and pick up this dune grass for the house peony rose i do not like rose fresh linen breeze mm -mm. 
<clears throat> it smells like tortillas, like fried tortillas. That smells like fried tortillas. Literally, that's not even it. Oh, this one's really nice. I gotta get this one for the house. Embrace positivity. This smells super good. Very fresh and very strong. All right, so I'm about to go ahead and show you guys everything that I got from Ulta. Y'all already know I had to go to Ulta, give me a few things or whatever. You guys know I already have like a, wait, what? You guys know already that I have like a huge perfume obsession, so I gotta go ahead and smell the perfumes that I bought from Ulta. I only bought three. It's so dang hot today. I don't even know why I had a sweatshirt on, but I had a nine o'clock appointment, and so at nine o'clock it wasn't really that hot my sister's best friend has been doing my lashes she really came in clutch um so anyway yes ma'am still my nails looking real good yeah she was like i didn't even know that was you she was like Cause the last time i seen you, your nails were not that long so i was like is that her like i kind of knew but let me go ahead and hop right into what i got from ulta i get so many compliments about how i smell so good and it's just like honestly my favorite compliment but anyway i love good girl carolina herrera it's just really intoxicating and really strong and i have kind of been getting tired of it because i bought the body cream i bought the body wash like everything and so i smelled this in the store today and i seen some girl bragging about it the other day um she was like it's just so good like you just have to try it like it just smells so good and i'm like okay so it's a different bottle the the regular bottle the bottom is not clear the, the only difference with the bottle is that the bottom is clear and this has like a coconut accent to it but like an expensive luxurious coconut accent to it so let me smell like it's just so pretty oh my gosh i love that it still has that Carolina Herrera good girl scent to it. So you're not missing out on that scent. It just has a way more sweet coconut accent to it. And it smells so luxurious and pretty. I, I'm so excited to go ahead and try this out. You guys know. I also bought my mom the DKNY Be Delicious perfume. It's my favorite perfume at the moment. I go through phases, but it's my favorite perfume at the moment. Moment, I put it on last night. Woke up. Every single time I put it on at nighttime, I wake up the next morning and I smell so good. It's, I don't know how to explain it but it's the best thing ever this is the description be delicious has a fruity scent with notes of american apple cucumber grapefruit rose violet sandalwood and white amber and tuberose served in a sleek metal and glass apple bottle be delicious celebrates the big apple and its residents individually in refreshing spirit like if you're starting off and you're looking for a perfume get this dang perfume it smells oh my gosh like it's honestly amazing my favorite facial exfoliator is this daily microfoliant by dermalogica it's super gentle you have to use it the right way for my acne it works so good you're not really supposed to be using like a lot of physical exfoliants and stuff like that more like a bha and like an aha but this is honestly like my nightly exfoliator because it's not harsh at all you basically it's like a powder and you basically just like pour it into your hand get a little bit of water and go back and forth until it's like sudsy like a soap and it really exfoliates your face and it has salicylic acid in it and it just works so good my mom just had to buy me this lotion she was so insistent on it it is the clinique happy lotion oh my gosh i love clinique happy it smells super fresh super pretty love it so much oh my mom bought me two bottles for my birthday last year not this birthday this birthday she like honestly got me so many cool things she bought me this gold bracelet it's like a bangle she bought me this gold necklace like coach purses like she just bought me like so much cool stuff and I'm just super grateful so yes my, my mom just like made my birthday I went ahead and opened up this in full bloom case bay perfume it's so cute it has like a little flower on the top I am super excited let's go ahead and see what it smells like I'm in my car with AC so hey the AC really helps I can't deal with no intoxicating perfume in the heat like you gotta have fresh fresh like clean fragrances in the heat you can't be having all that extra stuff I can't even smell it girl ew oh okay if you like rose if you like rose fragrances girl this is for you this is absolutely nasty i hate rose this smells like rose no oh, oh, lord please i think it smells disgusting my mom loves rose fragrances so i'm gonna go ahead and give that to her oh that's disgusting on to the escada magnesium no magnetism the heck but the bottle the bottle baby the bottle is serving looks okay this smells just like ariana grande rim her new perfume called rim it's like her newest perfume out it has like a crystal type of bottle this definitely smells just like that it has like a masculine scent to it but also like a pretty girly scent to it this is really nice i love this not love it but it's really good i'm definitely gonna wear that so it smells like ariana grande rim and last but not least before i go ahead and end out this video we gotta go ahead and try out this escada miami blossom limited edition because girl we were just in miami this is cute okay it does look like miami i did notice though with my escada perfume it was not strong like it was not strong at all like it really didn't last but that's real pretty Ooh okay really fruity it has like a very like citrus fruity vibe to it i'm gonna be honest with you guys it does kind of smell like a bath and body works body spray but like since it's in a glass bottle it just makes it so much better that smells fire i like this anyway that is everything sis i have a for real perfume addiction but like i'm not mad about it because you can people can have addictions to all types of stuff and i'm addicted to perfume i don't understand why people be mad like people be for real mad like i be having people email me like girl you're a dummy like 
why do you be blind buying perfumes like it's just stupid or they'll say this why are you buying so much stuff it's just gonna end up expiring why would that bother you if it expires on me why does it bother you either way they're making all this stuff it's gonna be bought either way so it doesn't matter if it expires in my hands or if it expires in their hands and they have to throw it away either way I mean why does it bother you if you don't accept me that's okay I'm not for you my company and my presence is not for you you don't deserve me so that's okay I'm gonna leave you on that side stay on your side of the fence stop trying to dip into my waters I think it's funny how haters are still subscribed to me they still follow me they still watch my every single mood what I move stop dipping into my waters and stop trying to jump my fence get away from me that's all you got to do if you don't like somebody why don't you just get off of their stuff I've never understood why people will sit up and be like ew can't stand her let me go ahead and leave a hate comment like for what it's just too time consuming and you definitely Definitely have way too much time on your hands if you're commenting hate towards somebody express your opinion cool but when you're being disrespectful and you're crossing somebody with disrespect you're honestly weird that's just what that is I'm sorry I don't want to do no name calling but that's weird and you're a weird human being for doing something like that with that being said I love every single one of you guys God bless you all in Jesus name and it's time for you to go ahead and head up out of here y'all have a great day and stay positive